NHS England has reported a further 657 people, who tested positive for the coronavirus, COVID-19, have died, bringing the total number of confirmed reported deaths in hospitals in England to 9,594. Patients were aged between 26 and 100 years old. 42 of the 657 patients, aged between 30 and 98 years old, had no known underlying health condition. The families have been informed. The biggest number of deaths reported in today's update were from hospital trusts in West Yorkshire and Sheffield, with 12 deaths reported by the Mid Yorkshire Hospitals NHS Trust which covers Dewsbury and Wakefield, and nine each by Sheffield Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust and the Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS Foundation Trust. The total number of deaths in the UK linked to coronavirus has risen to over 10,000. There have now been 10,647 fatalities reported across England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. The total UK figure yesterday stood at 9,937. Hospital trusts across Yorkshire have reported 52 deaths in the last 24 hours. All the latest figures are from confirmed deaths recorded between 5 p.m. on April 10 and 5 p.m. on April 11. Airdale NHS Foundation Trust, 6 Barnsley Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, 2 Bradford Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, 5 Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS Foundation Trust, 9 Doncaster and Bassetlaw, 3 Harrogate and District NHS Foundation Trust, 1 Hull University Teaching Hospitals NHS Trust, 1 Leeds Teaching Hospitals NHS Trust, 2 Mid Yorkshire Hospitals NHS Trust, 12 Sheffield Health and Social Care NHS Foundation Trust, 0 Sheffield Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, 9 The Rotherham NHS Foundation Trust, 1 York Teaching Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, 1 Read more related articles of the 657 new hospital deaths announced on Sunday by NHS England, 121 occurred on April 11 while 531 took place between April 1 and April 10. The remaining five deaths occurred in March, with the earliest new death taking place on March 26. NHS England releases updated figures every day showing the dates of every coronavirus-related death in hospitals in England, often including new deaths that took place several days or even weeks ago. This is because of the time it takes for deaths to be confirmed as testing positive for COVID-19, post-mortem tests to be processed and data from the tests to be validated. Figures published today by NHS England show that April 8 currently has the highest total for the most hospital deaths occurring in a single day, 709, although this could change in future updates. Let's block ads. Why?